Hi guys! Today we're making another number blocks inspired video and today it's going to be number 12. Now there isn't a real number block 12 yet, the show haven't got up past number 10, so we're going to have to design this one by ourselves. Now what you need first is some regular kitchen foil and we're going to squish this down. I'm using a roller pin here so we can get it really tightly compacted into cube shapes. And I'm going to make 12 of these and you can always like force them so that into a shape so they're more even. I know that mine aren't perfectly even but I promise you the finished product looks absolutely fine. So I'm not going to cover these cubes with Fimo like I normally do because my number 12 is inspired by the periodic table and it is inspired by magnesium which is number 12 on the table. Magnesium is usually a silvery colour so that was my idea and I'm just gluing these cubes together now with a hot glue gun. I tried using regular glue before and it just doesn't stick enough. You could probably use super glue as well but you do want to use a fairly strong glue so make sure you get an adult to help because hot glue can obviously be quite hot. <laughs> then I'm going to take some white Fimo and I'm going to work this into little balls and then squish them down to make the eyes. I'm going to use a bit of the Sculpey Bake and Bond product which is like glue but what it does is when you bake it, it will make it stick. And then I'm going to get two pieces of black Fimo and squish these down for the pupils. And then I thought magnesium can be a little bit fancy, so I decided to add some lashes. And also a bit of colour to her eyes, which you'll see in a moment. In case you're wondering what magnesium can be found in, well, it can be found in an alloy wheel. It can be found in metals, it can also be found in talcum powder and also crystals. For example, in Epsom salts, which your parents might use when they have a bath. And here I just decided to give him some blue eye, just because I think the blue looks really nice next to silver. And then of course a big happy smile. Now that we've done the body and the eyes, and by the way this is number block 12 so you could arrange this differently to me, you could make him into more of a squarish shape but I just thought it looks good as a longer shape. I'm going to add some arms and I'm just going to use the white again. I'm going to stick them on because they don't stick as well without the bonding glue. So I'm going to make these arms with a long body so I can add quite a few arms. The arms, I actually swirled together some black and some white to make this sort of pattern just because I thought it looks a little bit more interesting than just plain white or plain black. If you're not going to bake your finished piece you can always use the hot glue instead but remember female stay soft until you bake it. I should really mention here as well that you can use foil, you can of course put foil into the oven which is why people use it so often when they're making big sculptures with Fimo because you can use them in the centre. So it's absolutely fine to put this piece into the oven to set your Fimo, the foil won't be affected by that at all. There's my arms and then I'm going to make some little blocky legs and stick those on. So I hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you again next time. Guys, remember to like and subscribe. What do you like to see next?